What's going on everyone? This is Kevin Breeze here and one of the things that I really like about the new LG K30 is that even though it is a budget handset, it has a fingerprint sensor on the back. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set it up and also I'm going to show you how accurate it is and how easy it is to unlock your phone using this fingerprint sensor in case you're still on the fence about buying this device. So without further ado, let's get started. So right now I have not set up anything to lock the phone. So I just scroll up and I'm able to unlock it without any sort of password or anything like that. But that's going to be changing. So we're going to go over to settings, then we're going to go over to general, and then we're going to go over to fingerprints and security. Then from here we'll tap on fingerprints. And it says use your fingerprint to unlock the screen or see locked content in Quick Memo Plus. Before you add your fingerprint, you will need to set up or confirm a second way to unlock your phone such as a pin, pattern, or password. Note: Fingerprint unlock only saves the information needed to recognize your fingerprint. Images of your fingerprint are not saved. Okay, sounds good. Gonna go to next. We're gonna start by creating a pin, which I have not done yet, as I mentioned before. So the pin is just an extra layer of security. So I'm gonna set that up. Okay, so I now set my screen lock pin number. And then you have an option for notifications, so you can choose when the phone's locked to show all notifications, hide sensitive only, or hide all notifications. We'll just keep it at the hide sensitive only. And now it's time to scan the fingerprint. So I'm gonna put my finger on the back here on that fingerprint sensor. And you can see it's pretty similar to how it looks on the iPhone. When you try to validate your fingerprint, There you go, and it says that the fingerprint has been added. So you can obviously set multiple fingerprints, so if you wanna do multiple fingers in case one of them gets cut off, or if you have a spouse or loved one that you'd like to have access to your phone, then you can program their finger in there as well. So let's now test this out in real life. All right, so it's hard to show you since the fingerprint sensor is of course on the back, but basically I'm going to tap on it right now, and I'm in already, so it's really quick. It works just really well, to be honest. That's so quick. So it's great to see that the fingerprint sensor on this phone not only exists, but it's really good. So I can't imagine that you'd ever be in a situation where you'd be hoping that this was more accurate or faster or anything like that. Now you want to keep in mind that one difference uh, with this fingerprint sensor being on the back in comparison to other devices such as the Apple iPhone 8 an 8 Plus being on the front is that you can't really use your thumb with this, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because it's perfectly fine to use your index finger and that's where it's going to be naturally in the back. But it would be really awkward if you wanted to unlock the device using your thumb because you'd have to really just turn it over and then put your thumb on there. But like I said, it works perfectly fine using my index finger and I'm really satisfied with how easy it is to unlock the device using your fingerprint. So if you enjoyed this video, then definitely give it a like. Check out my other videos with the LG K30. Check out my full review of the LG K30. And subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, everybody.